All right, folks, we got a matchup uh, between the Boston Celtics and the Washington Wizards. But let's not waste too much time on the Wizards, shall we? This is less of a game and more of a practice run for Boston. Uh, the Celtics are a juggernaut, and they're about to steamroll Washington like a snowplow, clearing an empty road. You want to talk about depth? Boston's bench could probably beat half the league starters and the Wizards. Uh, they're basically a team held together by hope and duct tape. Look, Washington's got nothing going for them. They're like a car running on fumes, coasting through another disappointing season with a roster that screams rebuild without saying the word. Sure, they've got Jordan Poole and Kai Kuzma, but they're more interested in stat padding than winning. Uh, the Wizards are also a defensive black hole, incapable of stopping anyone, let alone a team as offensively gifted as the Celtics. What are they going to do? Pray for a miracle. This is the NBA, not a Disney movie. Austin, on the other hand, has Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, two players that could turn a team like the Wizards into dust just by looking at them. They're not just better. They're playing with a purpose, especially after that tough start. You think Washington's going to slow them down? Please, uh, they might as well put cardboard cutouts on defense. The Celtics' strength lies in their versatility, their lethal three-point shooting, and a defense that can lock down the best teams in the league. Boston is not just about to win. They're about to annihilate. Washington, you had your chance, but this is a Celtic show, and the Wizards are just there for the ride. At this point, uh, the only curiosity left is how much Boston will win by, because the Wizards' only hope of escaping this massacre is waiting for the buzzer to end their misery. The Celtics are in cruise control, and the Wizards, <laughs> well, they're about to crash.